up you guys welcome to my blog hey y'all so today is november the 25th it's about 2 30 and um i live in orlando florida but i'm gonna be driving to brownsville texas okay so this vlog is basically basically it's gonna be about my tummy tuck journey with dr chavez and he's located in mexico um so i'm leaving today it's the 23rd my surgery is on saturday the 27th november 27th 2021 um i'm scheduled to be there at 7 a.m and i'll be staying there for one day um, then I'll be crossing back over the border into Brownsville. I have an Airbnb and I'm going to be there for two weeks. Um, that's still fluid if I'm going to stay that long. Um, but I kind of want to be close to Dr. Chavez just in case I need any post-op care for any reason. Um, um, today I got my lab results back, my final lab and my hemo was like almost a 13. Um, and that's kind of low so i know that i'm supposed to get a tummy tuck with muscle repair and lipo but i may not do the lipo because you know ain't nobody trying to die but yeah i'm not by myself me and my babe um he's gonna be with me um going to get on the road it's about three o'clock eastern standard time we probably ain't gonna get there till Say it's like 19 hour drive, so y'all pray for me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. Today is Wednesday. Today, my sister's calling me, she's rude. Today is Wednesday, uh, November the 24th, and uh, so far we've made it to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, and our final destination is going to be Brownsville, Texas. Um, so when we got in last night, when we got in last night, it was late. And um, I was tired. I was gonna <clears throat> come on, but I was, I was too tired. I thought it driving. I only drove for four hours. He drove the other four. So we're about eight hours in. We still have about 10 hours to go because we kept stopping so anyways um, just to give you more information um, my hemo is a 12.5 so the original plan was for me to get a tummy tuck um, with muscle repair a lipo in my back flanks arms inner thighs um, and chin <clears throat> but um because my hemo is low i think i'm only going to be able to do the tummy tuck with the muscle repair which i'm fine with that because you know it's going to be a process um so i'll come back on when we get a little further a little closer to brownsville and i'll let you guys know how it looks um but basically um my surgery is going to be with dr um chavez um at the md clinic in mexico and um it's I can't pronounce it moto hold on mata moros mexico okay it's right down the border by brownsville that's where dr chavez is located um I chose to go with Dr. Chavez because after doing research, I seen that he had no death and he was in, um, he's, he's been practicing uh, actual surgeries for about four or five years now in no deaths. And I've seen that he's worked on patients my size. Um, my stats on 5'9", I'm about 300 pounds. Um, I had weight loss surgery in 2018. At my highest, I was four. Day of surgery, I was about 436. 
Um, I had a duodenal switch. Um, the lowest I got down to was about 240. But I looked like a straight crackhead, y'all. You know, I've never wanted to be small. I just didn't want to be obese, like so big that I couldn't function. So, um, it's just a journey, like, it's just a journey for me. But I'm going to take you guys with me on this one. I should have vlogged my weight loss journey, but I didn't. Um, but I'm still losing weight, y'all. Like, ideally, I want to be about 250, between 250 and 260, ideally. So, um, <laughs> we'll get there. But I'm going to hit you guys back up. We're going to get out of here for these people to charge us for another day. I don't know. See you soon. Bye bye. -bye. y'all just checking in it's uh 5 p.m november 24th um a couple hours ago we was in baton rouge louisiana we're now in houston texas or actually we're about 45 minutes outside of houston texas we're at a rest stop yeah i'm ready to go sleep but anyway we're about um, f five hours from Brownsville, Texas. Um, I spoke with the coordinators today. Um, I believe it was Liz I spoke with or Priva. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, basically, my hemoglobin, like I was explaining earlier, is a 12. And I need to be at a 14 for lipo. So I'm going to need a blood transfusion. So with that being said, it's making me kind of nervous and I kind of don't want to do the lipo all together. Um, I think I'll, when I, I go in actually on Friday to get the blood transfusion, um, and I'm going to talk to the doctor and just do only the tummy tuck and the muscle repair um allow myself to heal from that and if i choose to come back and do lipo i'll do it in june of next year um if that's the route that i want to go but i actually uh next year was planning to get my dental work completed because baby these teeth <laughs> that's not it but um we'll see I might just push it all the way until the end of the year next year. So next year this time I'll probably go back and do life well. But um that's an update. Um yeah. I'm not driving y'all. My boyfriend is driving and um yeah, I'm just grateful for him because 
there's no way I could have drove here. No way. No way. He likes to drive, and I've been over here in his seat with my handy dandy neck pillow knocked out. Now, I'm not driving back. He's driving back on his own, and I will be flying home, and my sister will be picking me up from the airport because I doubt that I would be able to survive a 15, uh, 19, 19 hour, 19 hours in the car after having surgery. Even though I'll be there for two weeks, I don't believe my body will be in any position to be in a car ride. Yep, so I will check back in with you guys. Once I reach, did I check in in Houston? We may stop in Houston and go to a restaurant. If we do, I'll vlog it. But if I don't, I will see you guys again when I um, make it to Brownsville, Texas. Bye-bye. This is the sofa. I'll probably be sleeping on this. Um, got a little TV, and I bought my fan. I can't sleep without my fan. Um, surprise. The chair. This is the room. Probably won't sleep in here, but my baby will. This is the bed. Just got here. Ain't made it yet. It's another bed. I think it's another bed down here too. Yeah, it's another bed down here. Oh, so, this Airbnb got one, two, three. Got three beds. So. They can sleep at least four people. Um, so that's the room. Got a um, TV. And this is the back door. I don't want to go out of it, y'all, because I got no decent clothes on. But um, it's a little late back there. And it's a little walkway over there um, to like some chairs to sit in. Uh -huh. Then this is the bathroom. So this is the master bathroom. See, I'll put some supplies, some supplies in. Um, this Airbnb got two bathrooms. I'm probably not gonna use this bathroom because of this tub. I'll let they use it. Um, that's the shit. Had more supplies in. Like they got extra towels, um, extra pillows. I'm glad I bought my own pillows because those pillows is so flat. Um, I don't even know what that is up there, but it's like extra supplies. You know, finding more all the good stuff. Yeah. Keep going back out here. This is the dining area. This is the kitchen. The fridge. Still need to go grocery shopping. So they got my supplies. Got a washer and dryer. It's currently in use. Um, oh, okay. And this is the bathroom that I'm gonna use, most likely. I gotta go to the store and get some Lysol and stuff. I need to clean it, cause y'all look up here and I see this. Oh my, okay, oh my. So I'm gonna get some bleach spray and bleach it down and wash, clean it tonight. But this is the bathroom I'm gonna use because of this. I can put a chair in here and sit in here um, to take a shower. I'm mad I don't got a touchable shower head. If I feel like spending extra money, I might get one, but you know, kind of tight on funds right now, so that probably ain't gonna happen. I'll just turn my back and bathe with my back that way, okay? Um, that's it, pretty much it. Hi, you guys, so today is Thursday is Thanksgiving. Um, finally made it to Brownsville. Um, as you can see in the clip earlier, I gave y'all a little tour. Just got out of the shower. I'm about to go get something to eat. But I just wanted y'all to see my body before. And actually, I ain't got no shame. I'm going to show y'all this whole stomach. 
I'm gonna show you all of this. And it's a lot. I used to be 400 pounds, so it's a lot. Compared to the rest of my body, it's just, it's a lot. And um, I'm just so ready for it to be gone. Saturday is my day, which is November the 27th. So I got like about 48 hours or two sleeps and this thing will be gone but um, originally I was supposed to get a tummy tuck with muscle repair um, and I was supposed to get lipo in my arms uh, my back and in between my leg um, but my hemo is at a 12 right now and it's supposed to be at 14 for lipo so I may not get lipo and I may just get the tummy tuck and muscle repair and I'm fine with that I'm fine with that long as I don't go home with this I'm good okay um, but for the last month I've been because my hemo was at like a seven for so for the last month I've been taking iron supplements I've been eating iron rich food um, I've been taking folic acid I've been taking vitamin C and B12 um, and I'm at a 12 so I went up four points with just changing my diet and taking supplements um, but um, the doctor Dr. Chavez, he still wants me to do a blood transfusion, um, which is fine, just to make sure um, that I don't have any complications when it comes to my body receiving oxygen from my blood. So, you guys, um, I may vlog the the um, city when I go out into Brownsville. Um, we're gonna go look for something to eat. Me and my baby cakes. Um, and I'll be back. Hi guys, so tonight I'm gonna go over the supplies that I got. Um, that you may find helpful as to what you need when you go through your tummy tuck journey or your lipo BBL journey. Um, turn the camera around. So I got some hand sanitizer. I got gloves. I got wipes. This is Clorox wipes. I'm gonna use this to um, wipe down the bathroom after I use it. Keep it clean. Um, I have wet wipes with um, antibacterial wipes. Um, I have wound wash, saline wound wash. Um, I have a Benadryl cream um, just in case I break out to like the adhesive or anything. I don't know. I just got it. I was just buying stuff, y'all. Um, I got triple antibiotic ointment, but I may not use that because I've been told you're not supposed to use triple antibiotic ointment on your wound. So I also went and got, um, poly, um, antibiotic ointment and, um, bacitracin. So I may just use the bacitracin. Um, I got this as well, um, is pain and itch relief. May or may not use it. I don't know. Um, scissors. I'm going to keep these sterile. I have alcohol wipes. Alcohol wipes are good for when you're feeling nauseous as well. So, um, like, if you feel like you're about to pass out, open up one of these and put them under your nose. It will help you. I learned that from my first surgery when I had weight loss surgery a couple years ago. Um, I have tape. Q-tips to clean out my belly button. Um, I have some Arnica gel as well as the pills. I may or may not use this. Um, as I discussed earlier, I'm not sure if I'm going to get lipo yet because of my hemo. 
Um, I may only get a tummy tuck muscle repair, so I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but I'll keep it because I'll use it eventually um, on second round. Um, I have some pain reliever, which I have Motrin, and I have um, Tylenol. I also have some Tylenol PM somewhere. But um, I have this for pain relief. Um, this is SS Tonic. Uh, this is one of the vitamins that I take daily. I take 45 milliliters of this daily, and it's totally disgusting. Um, this is a full bottle almost. Um, this is like my third bottle in like the last month. Um, this is my pill separator. I haven't separated my pills yet, but I'll go through that in a minute. Um, I got some colace just in case I get constipated after because the last thing you want to be is constipated. Um, when you have a tummy tuck, it probably ain't going to feel good. And I also got some gas X because don't nobody want no gas either. I got these um, pads, I forgot what you call them, but they're the pads that catch all the blood and stuff so you don't mess up um, you know, your furniture. Um, I also have um, one of these shower curtains as well, so I don't mess that up. Um, I have lipo foam. I have um, the backboards as well as the abdomen boards. Um, and then I have, this is a, a roller for massage because I may pay for a couple massages, but I'm going to end up giving them to myself eventually. And then I also have a massage gun right there. I got it off Amazon. It's pretty great. Um, just in case my period comes on during surgery, I have some maxi pads and I also have these depending on if it's heavy. Um, I have these razors because I'm going to shave. I'm not waxing. I'm just going to shave all my hair off, you know, save a couple dollars. Um, and then I also have over here, I have my gauze, um, gauze pads. And then I have a gauze kit. Um, yeah, so basically it's like some non-stick some surgical pads and transparent dressing, whatever. I have a nurse that's coming, so she'll probably have all that stuff. I just got that because I'm going to need it eventually when she leaves. So, um, I also got pillows. Make sure you guys get pillows. You'll need pillows. Um, and then I also got this gown. Hold on. All right, so I got this. It's called. It's a recovery robe. I got it in a two X. I probably should have got it in a three X, but whatever. Anyways, the gown has drain the drain holes in it or whatever. I spent a hundred dollars for nothing, but that's why I'm still in the FedEx bag because I might not wear it and I might take it back. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I got my fan because I can't sleep without this. My fan. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I came all the way from Florida and I forgot my walker. So today I had to order a walker on Amazon and it's supposed to be here Saturday, which is the day of my surgery. No, it's supposed to be here on the 28th, which is Sunday. The day of my surgery is the 27th, which is Saturday. Um, but I have to stay in the hospital for one day anyway. I have to stay in the clinic for one day anyway. So it'll be here when I get here. So I'm just going to need assistance to walk until then. So um, I'll go over my, my, I'm sorry, the light is there. You can't see my face, but I'll go over my vitamin regimen so that you guys know kind of what you'll need. You, you may want to. You know customize this to you because everybody's different oh there's the Tylenol pen that I was looking for I told you I had all right so I have this um, this is promethazine this is for after surgery you know your little nauseous pop one of these 
works good. Um, I have my own antibiotics. Never know, might need it. As far as vitamins, um, I take a magnesium. I take a folic acid. And again, I take the liquid iron because I have a problem absorbing iron. So I take it in a liquid form so that my body can absorb it more. And then <clears throat> I take these ones you have to take twice a day, five pills twice a day. It sounds like a lot, but it has a lot of good stuff in it. It's called Heal Fast, and this is for the post-op formula. So this is what I'm going to start taking on um, the day of surgery. I'll take start taking this. And um, it has a lot of good vitamins in it, vitamin A, C, D, all the B vitamins, uh, magnesium, zinc, copper, you know, everything to help your wound heal. Um, I also have some stuff to stay hydrated. So I have Pedialyte. I have one in the fridge too. This one's room temperature. Um, I have Juven. I think it's Juven. Yeah, it's by Ensure. Basically, this is collagen powder. So it helps your like skin heal, helps your wound heal faster. Um, I have Arnica tea for um, bruising and swelling. And then I also have um, liquid IV. It's important to stay hydrated. And then I have cough drops. You know, don't might be dry. <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I have. Um, I also have a heating pad, just in case I'm cold. And I have like Vaseline for my lips and stuff. But that's pretty much it. So I'm all set. But if you guys found that helpful, then I did my job. Hmm? I got, oh, y'all wanna see my nurse? This is my nurse. Nurse who? Nurse Charles. How you doing, man? Nurse Wright, you gotta go by your last name. Yeah, I did not finish school. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't finished nursing school? Oh my God. Yeah, so don't try and hire me. Because... Uh -oh. Yeah, he's mine. He's not for hiring. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And comment down below any questions you have because I will be doing a Q&A video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook as Ashley Woods. That's W-O-O-D-S. As well as on TikTok as Ashley. That's me.